we have something else we want to talk about at this point. We've got a very special festival coming up this weekend, and we have a lot happening out here on the plaza. First of all, I want to tell you that. So we've got the Southwest Maker Fest happening this Saturday in downtown Mesa. Cindy, tell us what the Southwest Maker Fest is all about. Southwest Maker Fest is a celebration of all things creative. Um, it really tries to create a connected community that is empowered by creativity with um, all kinds of exciting hands-on activities from uh, you'll have uh, the opportunity to take a, wor a workshop on 3D printing to see robotics demonstrations to live art demonstrations, community art projects, just so much to do. So much to do and so many different creative things as we were talking about we've got fire breathers out here and Bradley tell us what's happening behind you here because you're making me hungry and you're making me feel like I need to work out at the same time well what we're uh, the goal here is to uh, uh, try and harvest the energy from the human body and make electrical power and you can use that to uh, make a fruit smoothie for example here we have uh, Robin uh, we mixed one up for you hopefully you like it yeah. uh, it'll be done in a few minutes uh, we uh, got some ice in there and some strawberries and some uh, yogurt. So, so what Robin is doing there on the treadmill, that or uh, on the bike here, that is powering this blender. Right. So uh, this right here is a generator. So um, what we're doing is showing people how to adapt their bicycles and gym equipment with a generator. And that's how you can make your own electricity and use it for charging batteries, charging your cell phone, uh, lighting your lights in your, your room, whatever you want. So. So exciting. And Cindy, I want to bring you back in here. How is all of this part of the Southwest Maker Fest? Because explain the fire breathing to me. Well, first of all, let me say this is Corinne Vivers from Morning Fire Entertainment. She's part of the great finale. But performance and visual arts are, are just as much a part of making as robotics and human powered generators or uh, computer programming. So we're celebrating the whole gamut of things that people make, whether they do it by creatively performing or whether they do it by making, tinkering in a shop. Um, everything from woodworking um, to artistry. Boy, really running the entire spectrum there. So exciting. How can people get involved? It's a free event and it's noon to 7 p.m. Um, right in the heart of downtown Mesa. You can go to Maine and McDonald and head north. You cannot miss it. There's over 100 ex exhibitors, presenters, performances, and we hope everybody comes out and has a great time and finds the creative spirit inside of themselves. I love that message. All right, so Bradley, can we try this smoothie that Robin's been working so hard on? Robin, I want to ask you, how are you feeling right now? Are you re Do you think this smoothie is done? Is it ready? I think it's ready yes <laughs> okay so we're gonna try it it was a little bit of water because it's kind of warm out here and bless your heart you've been out here working out okay anybody can have some with me yep here cheers we've got a Robin are you feeling good yeah definitely it's it's, it's a little bit of a workout All right cheers so that's great she did 50 watts of power to get that smoothie done well, thank you, Robin. Yep. And we are very excited about the Southwest Maker Fest. Go to 12news.com for more information. Mm. Good job. Whoa. We have smoothies. We have fire eaters. You never know what you'll find on the 12 News Plaza right here. Stay with us. Much more EVB Live when we come back.